Welcome to our video series which will get you started with Empower Synth and introduce you to the main features. This is the first video giving you an overview of the synth. More videos will follow which show the different parts of Empower Synth in more detail. When you open up Empower Synth you will first see the Global tab. We will get to see the individual tabs later. Let's first listen to a few presets. Click on the default field in the top right corner to open the preset browser. A pop-up opens showing the folder structure of presets. You can also use the search field. Let's try a lead. A pad. An organ. An electric piano. A bass. An FX sound. A bell sound. Sounds quite nice, doesn't it? On the right hand side you have a global limiter just to be safe from accidental extreme volume changes. You will want to enable it especially if you use the random feature which we'll look at in just a second. If you have created a new sound and want it to have a standardised volume you can hit the set button which automatically adjusts the global gain parameter. Now press the global randomize button which creates a new sound using the smart randomization engine. The result may sometimes sound strange but often it will give you a hint in a direction you haven't thought of before. You can also step through the presets with the arrow buttons. Or let Empower Synth randomly select a preset. Next to this there is the panic button. If audio processing somehow goes wrong or gets stuck you can reset it here. Now let's look at the tabbed area. In the global tab you have a global envelope and global volume panorama settings. Then you have three tabs controlling the three oscillators. A tab for the noise generator, two tabs for two independent filters and the last tab for the FX section. The tabs are arranged in the order of signal flow. First the three tonal oscillators plus the noise oscillators generate sound and get mixed one by one. The resulting sound is then processed serially through filter 1 and filter 2 and finally fed through the FX section. Note that all settings in the oscillator and filter sections for example envelopes, tremolo etc are per voice while the FX section is applied to the summed audio output after the filters. In each of the tabs you have the randomize button to generate random values for the respective section. Using this feature you can basically create a whole new sound without touching any specific controls.
Below the tabbed area there are the advanced settings and the multi-parameters and modulators. Multi-parameters combine many synth parameters in one control. You can, for example, quickly control filter cutoff, frequency, saturation and unison depth, all with one control. The multi-parameters can be attached to any MIDI controller, including Aftertouch, to allow unbelievably expressive playing. You can reach the MIDI setup menu by right-clicking on a multi-parameter. Or by clicking the MIDI icon in the lower right corner. By default, ModWheel is always mapped to multi-parameter 1, and Expression Pedal to Multi-Parameter 2. Modulators are extremely powerful and versatile tools, which can function as LFOs, envelopes or random curve generators. We'll get into the details later. Note that modulators are not per voice, but applied to all voices at once. This makes an important difference both in LFO mode as well as in envelope mode. Both multi-parameters and modulators have the Learn feature to assign destination parameters. Just right-click, select Learn or Clear and Learn if you want or do not want to keep existing destinations. Then touch any control in the synth to assign destination parameters and ranges. When you are done, left-click again on the multi-parameter showing the Rec symbol to finish learning. Next to the modulators, you have the arpeggiator button. It's a polyphonic arpeggiator that has all the features you can expect. We'll just mention it here. Expect more details in another video. One last thing to mention, you can resize the synth window. And you can change the style and the colours to meet your taste. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video which will cover the global settings in detail.